Embossing from PowerPoint. With the help of Microsoft PowerPoint, a variety of on-screen and online presentations, as well as notes and handouts, can all be easily made. A Microsoft PowerPoint presentation does not need to be an on-screen video presentation. This tutorial will explain how a complicated visual presentation can be adapted for embossing in just a few simple steps. Open Microsoft PowerPoint. Create a new Microsoft PowerPoint presentation to be translated or open an existing document. Remove unnecessary graphics and styles. Some templates employ bullet points, which should be removed. Select text that is in a bullet list format, then from the bullets menu under the Home tab, select None. Right-click to open the Format Background dialog box, then select Solid Fill with White as the color. Selecting Apply to All will apply the white background to all slides. Numbering the slides can be very helpful when the intent is to print each slide on a sheet of paper. To number the slides, choose Slide Number under Insert in the menu bar. In the dialog box, select Slide Number and then click Apply to All. It's important to remember that Braille occupies more space than regular text. Our Braille font is a 29-point font. We recommend that you start by going through the presentation, selecting the text, and making sure its font size is at least 29. This will give you a good idea of how much text can fit on each slide. If there is a large amount of text, the reader might benefit from the text being split up between two or more slides. To translate the slides, press the Windows key or click the Start menu and type View Plus Translator. Select View Plus Translator from the resulting search list. Select PowerPoint from the Target Application panel, then select Translate Application Text. From the resulting dialog box, select Translate. Your entire document should now be translated into Braille. To find more tutorials on this or other topics, please visit www.viewplus.com.